All right, the news this morning, Conan and NBC officially parting ways. And here with us now, Sharon Waxman. She's the founder and editor-in-chief of the therap.com, a website on entertainment and media business. Uh, the site broke the news about Conan early this morning. Sharon, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. So tell us what kind of uh, severance package they kind of finally worked out after all this well, back and forth. Well, Conan got a pretty good severance package of about $30 million. That's and every pretty good. Yes, yeah, pretty good. And then everybody else all together rolled up is it about another 10 and then apparently they've been bickering it's this has been like uh, the endless negotiation this thing playing out on nightly monologues on late night shows but basically apparently they couldn't agree on the final severance and so Conan had to put his hand in his own pocket and is paying some of the severance to his own employees so that it, they can all part ways by tomorrow because everybody agreed that tomorrow is the last show. So tomorrow is the last yeah. show and Jay starts March 1st after the Olympics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means I guess a couple weeks of Conan reruns which will be sort of awkward over the next yeah. couple weeks. Yeah, awkward. Uh, what I don't think they'll be playing this week's. No, no, I think they'll be. Probably not. <laughs> Dig yeah. a little deeper into the archive. I mean, it's, for just, these it's just been amazing. Every night it's just gotten a little more vicious and a yeah. little more vicious. It's like, get this man off the air so he can stop insulting the network. Exactly. That's what that big chunk of change was about. We've been covering this really closely. What's been happening uh, behind the scenes? The relationship between Leno and Conan uh, has been the subject of a lot of speculation. Is Jay pushing him out? Uh, is Conan sort of, is this sour grapes? Uh, what's your it's take? It's a really interesting dynamic there. Leno remains um, curiously unpopular in the late night comedian uh, clique. Yeah. And so that... Why? why? I ask that question. Why? He seems like a nice guy to me, yeah. and I don't need, I don't know him. I think they look at him as somebody who pr presents this. I'm not subscribing to this, but I think this is how he's regarded as somebody who kind of is so ambitious, so hardworking. Now, those are not bad qualities, but he's looked at as somebody who just maybe doesn't quite have a connection to real life. He just works all the time. He's sort of bound up in his cars and his work, and when he gets a day off, he does uh, stand up you know, down in Long Beach or something. And I don't know if it's, I'm sure there's an element of professional jealousy there, sure. but there's a, there's this feeling that he really ought to have stepped aside. I heard this a lot, like the Golden Globes over the weekend, there's a lot of talk at the parties about it. And I, I found that a little curious, like who steps aside? Like what president steps aside without term limits or something? You know, like nobody does that. Are we sure that this isn't all just an episode of Entourage? <laughs> <laughs> it would make it, it'll be a great series. I actually was at the HBO party and I asked the executives, I was like, is there a new like, show coming? <laughs> what, because what, what, what about the conditions? What, what conditions have they put on Conan? Uh, yeah. Once, once he leaves. I mean, there's the there's the big severance package there, but d doesn't he face limitations in terms of what he can do now? Well, first of all, one really interesting point is there's a media blackout for a while, mm -hmm. so the the the, sl the throw in stones is going to have to stop, which is, has been vastly entertaining for all of us, which is why Conan's ratings have gone up because the show is just mm -hmm. so interesting and tremendous. It has a surge of energy that you could not actually invent, um, but uh, organically, I guess, in the show. But um, he he can work in September. He is free to go to work. For, and California, by the way, has huge non-compete. Uh, he, he has huge blocks to non-competes. You basically cannot enforce that. He can He has non like he can't go. He can't no, no, he go does not have a he, he, time. he can starting right, in September. He is free to do what he wants. And Sharon, what's the most likely place for him to land? We keep hearing Fox, 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 but I understand that's a lot more complicated than people think. I think um, yeah, it's complicated till it isn't complicated. When a network wants somebody, they yeah. figure it out. You've got a really smart guy running things over there, Peter Rice, and I think he wants, I, my sense is he wants to make his stamp uh, in late night, and this is an amazing opportunity for him to do that, and some his nose at NBC, and what's so amazing is that this is exactly the scenario that Jeff Zucker was trying to avoid five years ago by trying to set this set of, set, set his pawns up, and it just all... It just is ironic, pieces. we're right back where we started a few yeah, years truly. ago. Yeah, really, right. you know what they say, early morning is the new late night. I was going to say, my show's, <laughs> my show's on at 2.30 in the morning out uh, west, nice. so... What about the Ron host, after Carson Daly. What about the host jealousy aspect, huh? Yes. <laughs> There's been a lot of sniping here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 Well, well, you know, it makes for ratings. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. Kind of right in, the, in the middle between you <laughs> Exactly. It's yeah. going to work. Sharon, great job covering all this. Thanks, uh, broke thanks. the story this morning on TheRap.com. Founder and editor-in-chief of TheRap.com. Thanks so much.